The FBI is investigating an incident last Friday involving Donald Trump supporters surrounding a Biden campaign bus on a Texas highway. And this tops our news making national headlines this morning. This video shows a long line of vehicles flying Trump flags trailing the Biden-Harris bus as it traveled from San Antonio to Austin on I-35. At one point, a car clips a pickup truck as it tries to change lanes. This weekend, President Trump used the incident to lash out at the FBI, saying in a tweet, In my opinion, these patriots did nothing wrong. The president also referred to the incident during some of his rallies over the weekend. Neither Joe Biden nor his running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, were on board that bus. And Monday was the first day on the job for Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett. The high court resumed oral arguments yesterday and Justice Barrett took her place virt virtually in the ninth seat. Americans were able to listen to the arguments in real time thanks to the pandemic as the Supreme Court continues to meet online. On the docket was a dispute involving the Freedom of Information Act and one examining disability benefits for railroad employees. Coming up this week, Justice Barrett will join her new colleagues in hearing arguments over life sentences for juveniles and Pennsylvania's fight over religious freedoms and LGBTQ rights. Monday was the last full day of campaigning for President Donald Trump and Joe Biden before Election Day. And the president repeated Sunday's ambitious schedule, holding another five rallies in one day. He kicked things off in North Carolina, a state he won in 2016 and is counting on for another term. President Trump also had rallies in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and two in Michigan. Former Vice President Joe Biden began his election eve campaign day in Cleveland, where he spoke at a drive-in rally and then he made three stops in Pennsylvania.